Hey everyone. So in this video, I want to talk about ways that we can feed our soil. It's fall now. And a lot of us are working on putting our beds to rest, pulling out old um, depleted plants and um, amending the beds for next spring. If you don't plan on overwintering your bed with some type of hoop house or um, cold frame, then you are going to want to amend your soil and put it to bed for the winter and have it ready for spring. Because one of the keys to building and maintaining soil fertility is to always give back more than we take. Good soil is the foundation to any successful garden. And the way that you keep good soil is to feed it, okay? One of the ways we feed our soil is to um, compost, okay? Now that doesn't have to be a big, huge compost pile or you know anything like that. You can compost in place. And what that means is you can take all of your garden waste that is not diseased and you can chop that and drop it right where it, right, you know, chop and drop just like that. And that organic matter is going to decompose and it's going to feed your soil. It's going to be food for the worms. The worms are going to eat it. The worms are going to have, you know, waste, which is vermicompost, okay? Um, so you want to try to attract a lot of worms to your garden anyway, all right? So healthy garden waste is one way that you can feed your soil. A lot of the things that we can use to feed our soil are free, local, and abundant resources. Now, when I talk about free and local, I'm not, um, I'm just saying most areas, okay? Everyone is not going to be, um, everyone doesn't have the same free resources, unfortunately, but many of us have the same free resources. So let's consider what a free resource can be. Now, you can also buy things, all right? We're not gonna exclude the fact that you can buy these things, blood meal, bone meal, um, fish emulsions, different things like that. You can most certainly go out and buy um, amendments. And there's nothing wrong with that. But there is also a lot of free local resources that you can take advantage of and prevent those resources from ending up in your landfills. Okay, so all fruit and vegetable waste can be composted and decomposed and used to feed your soil. Collecting leaves in the fall. Now is the perfect time to gather all of those leaves that are falling. If you don't have a lot of leaves on your property, you can contact neighbors or um, go to the park district or you know any type of um, wooded area and you can collect more than enough leaves than you need um, some people even pay to have leaves removed from their you know from their property and i am sure that they would be more than happy for you to come and take those leaves off their hands leaves are an excellent free resource and i will get into that in another video but for now we're just going to go through the list of free local resources um, coffee grounds is another if you have a local coffee shop or you drink coffee at home save those coffee grounds coffee grounds are great for worms worms love coffee grounds they also provide an excellent source of nitrogen phosphorus and potassium as well as many other um, nutrients, calcium, and the list is pretty long, so I'm not gonna go through the whole list, but coffee grounds, definitely use coffee grounds in your garden. Um, wood chips. Now, I know a lot of places don't have the chip drop resource, but some places do. And if you can actually get a hold of a tree company in the fall or in the early spring, 
they do a lot of tree work because they work around power lines and whatnot. And um, you can usually contact a um, tree expert and have them drop a load of wood chips for you. Wood chips are great, they're free, they're local, and they are abundant in most cases. But if they're not free, then they're pretty inexpensive most, most of the time. I'll get into the actual benefits of these things in another video into more detail, but for the sake of the length of this video, I'm just gonna go through a lot, you know, just through the list. So we got uh, all the fruit and vegetable waste. We've got leaves in the fall. We've got coffee grounds, wood chips, um, eggshells. Eggshells are an amazing resource for your garden. They break down really slowly, but if you if you amend your beds with eggshells in the fall and let them decompose and overwinter and break down. And um, the worms will actually appreciate those eggshells because worms don't have gizzards. So those eggshells and those coffee grounds help to um, help for them to digest. So eggshells, um, grass clippings, grass clippings are an amazing um, resource as well as animal manures. Okay, there's a lot of organic materials that we could be using in our garden to amend our beds. You wanna make sure that your growing space is well amended, moisture retentive, and well draining, okay? And that comes from lots of organic matter. Um, you're, when you're amending your beds, the top six inches should be compost, okay? Um, you never want to leave your soil bare. You always want to cover it. Okay, the, whether that be with the mulch, grass clippings, leaves, um, a tarp even, you never want to leave your soil bare. Um, that is where erosion comes in. So you always want to protect your soil. When you're putting ma organic materials in your beds, the smaller the material, the better, because it will break down faster. Um, so when you're doing, you know, when you're amending beds with leaves, if you're not just mulching the beds, then you want to try to maybe uh, run over those leaves with the lawnmower and, you know, chop those leaves up a bit before adding them to your compost pile or to your beds. So however you choose to do it, adding organic matter to your soil is almost always a good thing. Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys got something out of the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, like the video, subscribe if you like this type of content. And until next time, the more you know, the more you grow. Bye, guys.